Okay, well, that's that's interesting. A lot, a lot of people don't didn't know that. I, I know I didn't know that for sure. That's why I figured I'd ask that. And uh, is yeah. this something now that people can see you do in the future, or are, would you be willing to go on tour if you had the chance? Or actually, what's interesting? I don't know how much of that sort of thing I can do because I think that's a young person's game. That's yeah, kind of that's kind of hard work. Yeah, uh, I love being in front of an audience. As I, you yeah. know, the audience gives you. A, Obviously, as much as you give them, so I, that's I, that's a, that's, yeah, that's a thing. I, uh, you, can, you can never say no forever no. to that. I mean, you, got, you have to do it. But on the other hand, yeah, I've already thought of some new songs I really like to do. Uh, yeah. I used to sing a lot of folk songs. I okay. like to do something which is uh, there's a lot of old Kentucky folk songs that a lot of people never have heard, yeah. and uh, I would love to do some of those. Oh, cool! I and uh, I don't know if you ever had a chance to listen to my show at all. It's a uh, a Tuesday night gig here at the uh, Pioneer 90 and, and my, my stuff's kind of like yours kind of in a way kind of stuff you never heard of you know deep tracks or whatever and, and yeah. uh, you know just it's hard to find music and whatnot. that's that's what I think nowadays is interesting you know uh, yeah. if you can find stuff that you, you've never done before or never played before well go for it you know exactly well you know I, I was real lucky to find out I I had done a, a recording of 16 tons okay for a friend of mine who was putting together uh, some CDs about the coal mining area of yeah. uh, of where the part of the world I come from yeah and uh so I had done this thing with the fellow that ran the studio was in his own home it was a really nice studio down uh, in the San Fernando Valley just outside of Los Angeles yeah and I said, uh, or, or, I asked him, was I there? I said, do, do you know of any place that, uh, where, you know, people who aren't particularly well known in, in the music business are, they don't want to have a record label or thing, uh, where they sell their music on, uh, the internet? Yeah. And he didn't miss a beat. He said, CD Baby. <laughs> and I thought he was joking. Yeah. I thought, no, that's a kind of a silly, but I looked into it. I gotta tell you, I have sold quite a few albums there. Yeah. And that's really, what they do, and they don't specialize in any particular kind of music. What they specialize in are new music musicians and young musicians and yeah. people who have not been in the business before. And they they make help you make your album available. Okay. So I can't say enough about them. CD Baby is, I think it's cdbaby.com. Okay. And boy, is that, uh, I have found some stuff on there that I... <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, it, it, you get hooked on it after a while, and you start buying stuff because you think, I didn't, there was this one young woman who sang only er, early Irving Berlin songs on yeah. this one album. That was wonderful. Oh, I, got, I, I've got it, I mean, I bought it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. That's yeah, great. It, but, and, and I'll tell you, the other thing that's kind of, kind of interesting about yeah. it, it's how many albums they sell. There's one guy that for over a year now has been selling almost a quarter of a million copies every month. Jeez. Just one guy? Yes, one guy. He's a folk singer. <laughs> and I like his stuff. It's 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 pretty you know, it's pretty simple and yeah. pretty straightforward. But I thought, you know, come on, you gotta be kidding, but no, he 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 would sell <laughs> like two hundred to three hundred thousand every oh, month. Oh wow. Is this something now that you're doing on your for your CD too, like for, yeah. uh, as a way to promote? Because I think uh, well, I went to your website, uh, netlyfings yeah. dot com, and uh, yeah. listened to a few samples. There of you it. go. And uh, is that kind of how you got hooked up with uh, that? Yeah, well, they, they actually. That's the other thing. But once you start doing business with them, they ask you how you feel about your own home site, or would you like to build a home site? Okay. Well, I have been working on one. I keep, I kept telling myself, you know, the, the people could do this for you, but I couldn't figure out why you couldn't do it for yourself. Yeah. And it turns out that they got a perfect program. And you just, you make some choices, and they, they tell you what kind of information to put on. It's basically built around people who would be selling music. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, that's the way I built the home site. Oh wow. That, that, that's another part of their program. Yeah. And of course, I've got a you know you you have a link yeah. from the home site to, to the selling site, and yeah. every CD they have has its own uh, web page. So anyway, you put it, uh, cdbaby.com has really helped you out in promoting your CD. And well, I, I, I tell you what, you can't, 
<laughs> the first time, the first time I emailed him and said, "You know, this is sound, this sounds interesting. Yeah. Uh, tell tell me what I need to do to get started." So they email me back. Uh, I know with within le- less than one day. Yeah. They email me back, and the first the first thing they say to us, he goes, "Ned Beatty, we love you already." <laughs> <laughs> and they have this kind of wonderful way of encouraging you. You know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I thought it was special. I, I know there's a lot of I know there's a lot of young people you know making music. Yeah. And they really need a chance. They need a chance for some people to listen to it and see if those and see if those people want to have a copy of what they do. Yeah. And this is the way I think it's like. Well, the the cost is so low. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I, when you think in terms of everything, how much we pay for everything nowadays. Yeah. I mean, I, you can get on CD Baby for less than uh, a half a t- tank of gas. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a big that's company. simple. That's simple. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah. Okay. Well, and you you do a little bit of the work, and you yeah. tell them who you are, and you tell you know the people who might be interested in buying your music who you are. Okay. Where you've been. And I'm sure once you told them who you were, I'm sure they kind of freaked to like, oh my God, Ned Beatty's after you. Well, <laughs> actually, they, I, I must say they've been very, they, they've been very nice to me, but yeah. I kind of checked up on it. And I'll tell you, that's the way they treat everybody. Okay. Uh, all the people who started it, most all the people who work on it are all musicians themselves. And it's a little bit like, you know, this is something that's, that has, the idea behind it is the fact that people need to be able to get their music yeah. out to the public. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I mean, that, that that explains a lot about your CD and how you got started and uh, oh, yeah. you know, the website. And uh, uh, let's see. Uh, first of all, I want to well, thank you. Well, we're not quite done yet. I still got a few questions left to ask you. I want to thank okay. you for taking the time to let me interview you. And uh, everybody here at Pioneer 90 uh, says hi. Oh, good. That's <laughs> great. And, uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, from, moving on from your your uh, music career now to your uh, acting career, uh, uh, with the because I, I realized that you were on the first two Superman films. Uh huh. And uh, now with the, uh, the the new one coming out, do you think right. that uh, the Superman movie of today is just as good as the one uh, prior, the ones that you were on with Christopher Reeve, or or what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I haven't seen it. Okay. So I have I've have talked to people about it. I've talked to people who have seen it. Okay. I've heard lots of different things. Okay. Um, I, I tell you the truth. I, I'm I'm probably going to be a little bit lazy about seeing it. Yeah. Uh, unless it, until it comes up to maybe watching it because it would be the possibility of, of Oscar nominations. Yeah. Because I do get to watch films. I, I get my own uh, DVDs of those. Yeah. Uh, I may wait till then. Ah. Uh, I'm. Uh, I, I think the easiest way to say it is just say it straight out. I don't think I want to see it now because of the way I felt about Chris Reeve. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i not saying we were close friends or anything. I knew him bef- long before we ever did the Superman. I had yeah. uh, been in a movie with him. He was just a, you know, he was playing a tiny, tiny part. And uh, I got to be friends with him on that. And it was a Navy movie. He yeah. had a young ensign. I was playing in a... Uh, kind of a mean old, uh, uh, what do you call him in the Navy? Uh, uh, not, not a sergeant. Uh, okay. Lieutenant? Uh, or no, not lieutenant. No, no, no. I don't even know. know. I, I no, know. they're chief petty officer. Okay, okay. I was a chief. A chief yeah, they call chief petty officers in the Navy. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, had, I, I thought Chris was a very special person. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that would be a little difficult for me right now. Okay. Uh, but uh, I hope it's wonderful. I mean, you yeah. know, it's it's great stuff, and it, and I'd love for people to. to I would, the first one with him was so good. I was so happy to be in it. <laughs> it was so wonderful. I, I I don't think any of the other of them ever really kind of struck me nearly as. Yeah. That first one was uh, amazing. And how about the second one? Because I know you were on the second one as well. Well, I not, not as much. Okay. I didn't have a stronger feeling about that. Uh, I have, well, I had, I, I like Margo Kidder very much too. Yeah. But I, I have more of a, more of a relationship with with Chris. Yeah. 
Christopher, and, and uh, she was quite amazing. Yeah. He, it, it was very, you know, his dad was a classics professor yeah. at an Ivy League school. Okay. I mean, he came from a very kind of, if you use the expression, a kind of snooty background. Yeah. And uh, I think it was always difficult for him. I think he was always trying to prove himself as worthwhile to yeah. his family. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not quite ready to see the new movie. <laughs> okay. Well, I just figure, you know, I figure I'd mention that because uh kind of goes into a good segue or comparison because you were in the first two, and then, of course, yeah. now they're redoing it. And uh, I've seen little previews for it, and I don't know. I, I like the classics better. I like the, the old, the ones that you were in better. Uh, yeah. I, that's my opinion, anyway.